Alright, taking my Ulta Professional Eye Primer. Uh, looks like that. I'm just going to apply that all over the uh, lid up to the brow bone. And also apply some under the lower lash line. Okay, taking a flat shader brush, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Wear Infinite Studio Secrets uh, eyeshadow, and this one's in Bronze Star. And I'm just going to take this shade right here, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. So next I'm going to take like a fluffy dome type brush and I'm going to take this same palette, I'm going to take this brown right here, it's a bronze color, and I'm just going to apply that right into the crease, swiping it back and forth just to really blend it in. And now take some more of that product and just apply it on the outer corner. So taking a contour brush, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Wear Infinite uh, eyeshadow in Lush Raven. It's just a black uh, matte eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this on the outer corner. Just working it into the outer V. And kind of start blending it in towards the middle of the lid. But you want it to get lighter as it's going inward. So don't apply too much. I'm going to take that fluffy dome brush and I'm going to take that bronze color and I'm just going to touch that up right above the crease, just blending it really well with the black. So I'm going to take that flat shader brush with that lighter shade and I'm just going to touch that up with the black just to kind of blend it in together. And touch up the black again if needed. Don't add any more product to your brush. You can clean out the outer edge here uh, with a Q-tip or with a wet wipe. I'm just using my finger. Okay, so take a blender brush of your choice and blend out the upper edge. I'm going to take a Revlon Matte Eyeshadow in Vintage Lace. It's just like an off-white shade. And I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to apply that right under my brow bone as a highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to take a small smudge brush and I'm going to take Lush Raven, the L'Oreal shadow, black shadow. And I'm just going to apply that on the lower lash, under the lower lash line. And I'm going to bring it all the way over. And I'm just going to take this brush and just kind of touch up the black right here in the outer corner. Just kind of packing it on just to deepen it up a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to take this small concealer brush. You can use a smudge brush or an eyeliner brush or whatever, but I'm going to take this Sally Girl Baked Eyeshadow and it's just a really pretty green. I don't know the name of it, I'm not sure that it even says on here. But anyway, it's just a pretty uh, baked eyeshadow from Sally Beauty Supply. And I'm just going to take that little brush, get a little bit of product on there, and I'm going to apply this right under the black um, shadow that we applied, applied on the lower lash line. And bring it all the way over to the tear duct area. You kind of want the majority of the product over in this area here, the inner, the inner corner. Now 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that black shadow again and I'm just going to touch up um, the black on the lower lash line just so they blend, the green and the black blend a little better together. So also taking that black and the same, use the same smudge brush, um, just apply, um, so you're just basically going to line the upper lash line like if it was eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Sephora flashy uh, waterproof eyeliner in deep black, just looks like this, and I'm going to apply that to the waterline. And I'm also going to apply that to the tight line. So if you kind of just look up and go back and forth on the tight line. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to contour my face and I'm going to use my Milani Powder Mosaic and Touch of Sun. Looks like this. Just take a um, some kind of blush brush and I'm just going to apply that from the top of my ear down in the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm going to apply it all in this area right here. I'm going to apply some right here in the groove of my nose and on my chin. And a little bit on the jawline. So now I'm going to take my Jane B. Pure Mineral Blush and this one's in Rose Satin. It's just a nice peach blush. And I'm going to take a flat top blush brush. Just apply this to the apples of your cheeks. And I'm going to just take my powder brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it all together a little better. Okay, so now that the lashes have dried, I'm going to take the black eyeshadow with the same little brush that we've been using and I'm just going to apply that right over the lash um, line again just in case there's like any glue that's visible you just want to cover that up so I'm just going to curl the uh, falsies and I'm just going to touch up the mascara with the falsies on for lip gloss, I'm just going to use a peach color, and um, this one's the Ulta Brilliant Color Lip Gloss. And it is in Cozumelon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's just a bright orange. So I'm just going to apply that on the lips. So now I'm just going to like highlight under uh, my eyes and um, on the peak of my cheekbones a little bit. I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Vegas Strip Light Bronzer. And it looks like this. Just get like a flat eyeshadow, I mean get a flat blush brush. And I'm just going to apply that right at the peak of my cheekbone. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Take care. Bye.